Every year, millions of dollars are spent protecting one of wildlife's most treasured endangered species, the giant panda. So when British naturalist Chris Packham suggested recently that maybe we're spending too much effort and money on a species not fit to survive, it sparked some controversy. He joins us now from Norfolk, England. Good morning, Chris. You Good morning, had, Sharon. You had to expect that you were going to get a little backlash. Did you expect the backlash that's been coming? I understand there's been hate mail and everything else. I've been shouted at in the street. I have a, an email box full of contro uh, controversy. But I've also managed to stimulate what I think is a very important debate. I've picked on the poor old panda, not because I don't love it as much as you do and, and all of the people out there in the United States. I've picked on it because it cost us a tremendous amount of money. And what I wanted to do was create a, cre a, a constructive debate about how we might spend conservation's limited pot of cash in the near future. With the onset of climate change, we're going to see an, a massive increase in pressure on the world's flora and fauna. And I want us, like most conservationists want us, to be in the, the best place to apply our science, our technology, and our funding to best affect that conservation. And the reason I picked on the, the panda you've already touched upon, it's a highly specialised animal. It lives in a very narrow range. It lives in a very overpopulated uh, country where the population is, is continuing to grow. It's going to be very expensive to look after and it's proved that already. I'm merely suggesting that we conduct a, an audit and think about how we spend our money to best preserve the world species. And I'm very, very pleased that you've asked me on today. I'm very pleased that the debate has spread across the Atlantic to the United States, where a lot of the pioneers of the conservation movement are, are continuing to work. But critics are going to say, you can't touch it. It's the panda. Children everywhere will cry. This is very upsetting. We have to do what we can to, to keep this animal going, no matter what the cost. What would you say to them? I think the panda is a fantastic flagship species. It, it attracts a, a large number of people and therefore it attracts a large amount of funding. I, I'm absolutely certain that its future is secure. The Chinese government couldn't possibly allow this animal, uh, an icon in their own country, to disappear. I'm, I'm using it as a vehicle to create this debate. There are other species that which I have equal concerns. The tiger we spend uh, millions and millions of dollars every year. Conserving tigers is a multi-million dollar conservation industry which is failing. The population of these animals continues to decline as they're worth more dead than alive. I'm merely asking in a somewhat maverick, slightly controversial way that we continually rethink what we're doing in conservation and we implement the latest thinking, the latest science to best affect that. I don't want a world without pandas or tigers, but I do want some good decisions made so that we can ensure their future. And one thing I have to say is, unfortunately, those children, the rest of the world, you and I, who love all of these creatures, in the near future are going to have some very tough choices. Another reason for my comments is to get us thinking about those choices so that when they come, we'll be in the best place to make the right decisions. All right, Chris, thanks for joining us.